Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Make love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. <laughs> Do like share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three like leave a comment. Subscribe. Or subscribe. Right. Our lesson for today is what is the difference between convex concave and convex polygon? So this is all about polygon and this is for grade seven mathematics a third quarter and this is for week four. Right? Week four. Convex polygon. A convex polygon is a closed figure where all its interior angles are less than 180 degrees and the vertices are pointing outwards. The term convex is used to refer to a shape that has a curve or a protruding surface. In other words, all the lines across the, the outline are straight and they, they point outwards. Real-world examples of convex polygons are signboards, a football, a circular plate, and many more. In geometry, there are many shapes that can be classified as convex polygons. For example, a hexagon is a closed figure with six sides. Since a hexagon has all its interior angles less than 180 degrees, it can be named as convex polygon. What are the properties of convex polygon? Okay, here the following characteristics of convex polygons help us to identify them easily. So they are a convex polygon is a polynomial where all the interior angles are less than 180 degrees. A polygon in which at least one of the angles is greater than 180 degrees is called concave polygon. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. A convex has uh, angles or interior angles at less than 180, while an angle that is greater than 180 is a concave. Okay, the diagonals of convex polygon lie inside the poly polynomial polygon no uh, the convex polygon has a polygon where the line draining every two points of its lies completely inside all right so these are the difference between concave and convex for convex the full uh, outline of convex shape uh, points outwards so there are dents or there are new dents while for concave at least some portion of the concave shape points inward so there is a dent all interior angles of convex polygon are less than 180 while for concave at least one interior angle is greater than 180 then <coughs> uh, for convex line draining any two vertices of the convex shape lies complete in it well for concave the line draining two vertices of concave shape may or not lie in it so we have the plane geometric figure so let's go back to the um, original meaning so let's define first what is a polygon a polygon is a plane figure formed by three or more segments that each segment intersects exactly two others one at its end point and no two segments with a common endpoints are collinear Two sides of a polygon that share a common endpoints are called consecutive sides. 
while two angles whose vertices are endpoints of the same side are called consecutive angles. So let's have definition again. So the common side of two consecutive angles is called the included side of the two angles. And the angle containing the common vertex of the two consecutive sides is called the included angle of the two sides. While the segment joining any two cons non-consecutive vertices is called a diagonal of the polygon. So, next we have uh, the different types of polynomials. So, the following are polynomials and they are named according to the number of sides. So first, we have the triangles. And triangles are three sides and three angles. So these are the examples of triangles. Okay. Then another is quadrilateral. <clears throat> A four-sided polygon, the sum of the angles of quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Okay. So while for triangle, the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, don't forget. All right. So, for quadrilateral, so we have different types like this. You know, we have the trapezoid, we have a um, rectangle, we have a square, we have diamond, or the rhombus, and we have the parallelogram, and we have the kite. Okay, so those are quadrilateral. Okay, next. We have also a uh, pentagon. So, for pentagon, um... Yeah, okay, so per pentagon has five-sided uh, polygon or a five-sided polygon. The sum of the angles of pentagon is 540 degrees. For pentagon, we have the regular and irregular. For, with, when we say irregular, that means um, they have the same sides, same measurement of the side like this. Okay, for an irregular... No, so all the five sides maybe have different uh, measurement. Okay, so this is a, one type of a convex. So no, so uh, pentagon is concave. No, meron si siyang ano. Now a six-sided polygon. So the sum of angles of hexagon is seven hundred. 20 degrees okay so they have six sides so for hexagon also we have the a regular and a regular okay next we have a heptagon okay so from the word hepta means seven a seven-sided polygon so the sum of the angles of heptagon is 900 degrees okay so look at the guys Next, we have octagon and nonagon. So, what is an octagon? So, an octagon is an eight-sided polygon, and the sum of the angles of an octagon is 1,080 degrees. While nonagon, uh, so from the word nona means nine, so a nine-sided polygon, the sum of the angles of a nonagon is 1,260 degrees. Okay, so this we have here a decagon. So from the word deca means 10. So this is a 10-sided polygon. And the sum of the angles of a decagon is 1,440 degrees. Okay, so let us continue. So let us solve, no? Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex hexagon. So, for our solution, a hexagon has six sides. So, from the polygon interior uh, angle sum theorem that says the sum of the measures of an angles of a convex polygon with an sides with insides is n minus 2 times 180. So, just substitute, no? So, remember this formula, no? This substitute 6 for n, okay? So, using the formula n minus 2 times 180, so that means 6 minus 2 times 180. So, we have 4 times 180 is equals to 720. No? That's why, we, that's how we got um, 
Now, why do we have subtract 2? Because 2 here stands for diagonal. So, number of diagonals in an hexagon is 2. So, we need to subtract. Okay? It's not included as the uh, sides. Okay? So, that's how to get the um, sum of the interior angles of a hexagon. Now, let's have another problem. Three angles of a pentagon measures 120, no? so we have three, 120, 130, and 150. Find the other two angles if they are in the ratio of 2 is to 3, okay? So for our solution, a pentagon has five sides. So using the formula, no, 5 minus 2 times 180, so that means 3 times 180 is equal to 540. The sum of the measures of the three angles, so if you are going to add that 120 100, plus 130 plus 150 is 400. Thus, the sum of the measures of other two angles is 540 minus 400, 400 is 140. Now, so, it says that the ratio of the two other angles is 2 is to 3, right? So, okay, so if x represents, or represents the measure of an angle, so our ratio is 2 is to 3, right? So, that means 2x plus 3x is equal to 140. And 5x, no? So, 5x is equal to 140 divided by 5 x is equal to 28 okay so 28 your x is 28 that means 2 times 28 is equal to uh, 1656 so that we have 56 while 3 times 28 is equals to 4, 32, so we have 84. Okay, so the total is 140. That is how we get the other two angles of the pentagon. Okay? So for questions and clarifications, just write on the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. And before I <laughs>